Here we're given a discrete time signal, x of n, that looks something like this. And we're asked to find the z-transform. So the easiest way to do a z-transform like this is to apply the definition. So we're adding up all the terms from 0 to infinity, and each term is multiplied by z to the power minus n. So each of these terms will be multiplied by z to the power minus n. So we can do that in one go. We can say it's 1 times z to the power 0 plus 2 times z to the minus 1 plus 0 times z to the minus 2 plus 4 times z to the minus 3 plus 0 times z to the minus 4 plus 5 times z to the minus 5. So I've simply taken these samples from the sequence, which I've illustrated here, starting from n equals 0. And we can cross out the zeros. And this is simply 1. So our final answer will look something like this. x of z equals 1 plus 2z minus 1 plus 4z minus 3 plus 5z minus 5. So that there is our final answer. That's the z-transform of the sequence given.